Somebody, I thought my dad was gonna kill me. But anyway, I'm gonna make a man. I said, I said shoot, nah. I'm gonna be a dead man. Amen. I'm gonna be dead before I get wrong. Amen. But it's some kind of way that, 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 that in, in, in that heat, in that, that working, God could just raise up a cool breeze and, and, and send it our way. Go have a witness. He'll do that for us. In the midst of our troubles, in the midst of our trials, in the midst of our sickness, in the midst of death or whatever going on in our lives, if you know the Lord, he'll send a breeze. You'll have a witness there. And that breeze can be peace. That breeze can be joy. That breeze can be uplifting. That breeze can be a praise. That breeze, that I'm trying to help you here. That breeze can be a worship. That breeze will say, get up from here. Amen. Lift up the name of Jesus. Tell me God won't come see about you. Don't tell me God won't come see about you. Don't, don't tell me. You can convince me that God ain't good. I said he's good. Amen. I'm going to act like he's good. I'm going to tell him thank you. I'm going to worship the Lord. Amen. In the beauty of his holiness. I said his holiness. And if you get to If you can't say a word, just wave your hand. And you give, you give God a wave offering. He honor your wave offering. I said, if you give God a wave, if you put your mind on, He honor your mind. He honor. Come on, somebody. Amen. All right, sir. In the book, the Gospel recorded by Saint John. The first chapter, and I've been doing it All right. 26 years. Uh -huh. I want to do it a little longer. All right. All right. All right. I got something I want to ask you. I can do for you. Keep doing for this congregation. You find the same man with me. Amen. John 6, John 1, the verse, excuse me, verse 6 said, There was a man sent from God All right. whose name was John. All right. The same came for a witness, to bear, wit to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Amen. Somebody say, Him. Yeah. He was not that light. But was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that coming into the world. We'll skip down a little bit. We'll hopefully deal with more of it. But I want to skip down to verse 19. It says, This is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests, Levites from Jerusalem, to ask him, who art thou? Right. And he confessed and denied not. Right. But confessed, I am not the Christ. Right. They asked him, well, what then? Mm -hmm. Are thou Elijah? Well. Are thou Lee? Mm -hmm. Are thou Hardy? All right. All right, Are thou Richardson? All right. He said, I am not. Well, well, well. Are thou that prophet? All right. He answered, No. All right. All right. Then said they unto him, Who are thou? All right. In other words, Who is you? All right. 
that we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As said the prophet Isaiah. Lord bless your word again. The word will be further clarified. God asks again that your people would be edified. And God you be glorified. In the name of Jesus I pray. In every heart say amen. 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 And amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to ask you a question. Amen. Can I keep on crying for you? I want to ask you a question, Shady Road. Can I keep on crying for you? Let me say it again. I think somebody missed it. Can I keep on crying for you? Pastor has a different cry. Pastor has a different voice. Pastor has a different presence. Especially when they are walking with the Lord. And this thought came to me as I pondered and prayed about what to say this day. And he said that coming up on the years of service or a pinpoint year of service, he asked for me to ask the people, can I keep crying for you? You know, all of us need somebody to talk on our behalf. Somebody, all of us need somebody to pray on our behalf. A child depend upon the parent to do what needs to be done in that child's life. Just pray with me a little while. Just take a minute here. I want the members of Shady to think about as I cry. Put you like a baby. When a baby cries, they're either hungry, amen, wet, or sick. Look at this spiritual today. I want you to cry to me because you're hungry. Amen. I want you to cry shady road, but I want you to get more hungry. Other word, I want you to get more hungry. For Sunday school, get more hungry. For Bible study, get more hungry. Go have a witness here. And then also a child crying when they're wet. I want you to cry. And then when you're wet, that means they need change. Come on, talk to me a little while. I, I want you to cry for change. I, I want you to cry. And I said for change. You need to change some of your ways. You need to change some of your habits. You need to change some of your way that you read, some of your way that you study, some of the way that you worship, some of the way that you come to church. You need to change from coming every other Sunday. You need to change from giving your tithes every once in a while. You need to change. Come on. Hey, amen. You said I could cry for you, so I'm crying. Yeah. You need to change. Amen. When the, when, when the child get wet, they'll keep on crying until you change. So what? I want you to keep crying. attention. So what? 
I went in there to find out what's wrong. He said, my head hurt real bad. But that means he needed some attention. Well, have a witness here. The cry let me know that something was wrong. Isn't that right? So, amen. So, when you talk to me, you're talking to me about something is wrong. And if it's an amen, if it's something is wrong in your life, then I'm going to tell you, let's pray about it. I'm going to tell you, there is a word from the Lord. And if you ask somebody for something, then you ought to take the advice. If the doctor gives you some pills, you ought to take every one of them. If the Lord says, study and meditate.